Um, you know, I know it's been a while since you've been out there watching you at practice. There's been some opportunities for you to, to you know, uh, lay the wood, basically. And I, you're showing discipline in that. But uh, how anxious are you to finally get back out on the field and do what you do back there? Um, I mean, I'm very excited to get back out. I mean, I don't think my my biggest concern is, you know, rushing back to try to technically lay somebody out. I mean, more so just being smarter this year, you know, making sure that I'm available, you know, because the best ability is availability. So just making sure I stay healthy and, you know, just being smart, being a smarter player this year. That, you know, that's my biggest concern, you know. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to is just being out there with my teammates and, you know, helping the guys, you know, get a couple wins and get to the playoffs and do what we need to do to turn this thing around. Hey, Jonathan, this is Tashawn Reed from The Athletic. Uh, we just talked to Coach Gruden earlier, and he said the two biggest improvements he saw out of you coming into this year were your communication skills and just having a greater understanding of the defense. I guess throughout the course of this offseason and your time off last season, we went into the work to improve in those two areas. Uh, mainly just staying around last year, you know, that was the biggest thing, you know, being able to understand the defense, seeing how the game plan changes week in and week out, you know, seeing adjustments that need to be made, seeing the coaching points that, you know, were made and, you know, that showed up every single Sunday and, you know, just trusting it, you know, so it's the same carryover that goes into, you know, training camp and into practices, you know, the coach is going to give you things that he look for, you know, tendencies that, you know, tend to show up and you just have to trust it and go play. So that's been the biggest thing um, as far as communication, you know, I understand it. I understand it a lot more. Um, I see things before they happen now, so I just try to make sure I let everybody out there on the field know. No need to let people run into the blind when I know what's going on. And Jonathan, so how crucial is that communication aspect you're talking about with such a young secondary? With you know, rookie corner and you know Trayvon Young. You're young. You see. The three of you guys, not a lot of experience. How important is that, that part going to be? I don't think experience has anything to do with it. I mean, it doesn't matter who's out there. If it's a bunch of five five veterans out there on the field, if they don't communicate, then they can't play fast. They can't play well together, you know. Uh, communication is big within any form of the game, at quarterback, running back, receivers, on defense, D-line. If we don't communicate, we can't perform at a high level. Hey, Jonathan, it's Scott with Raider Nation Radio. I, I know you just played in the one quarter last year, but going into your second camp, what have you seen out of those young additions to your defensive backfield, especially the cornerbacks with Damon Arnett, Nick Robinson, and those guys? Um, can you ask that question again? You threw me off. Huh? Yeah, Jonathan, what, what have you seen out of those young cornerbacks uh, that have joined you back there in uh, both Damon Arnett and Meek Robinson? Oh, um, both are tremendous, 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 tremendous type players. Um, Damon Arnett does some things that you just cannot coach, um, frankly. Um, and then Meek Robinson, you know, he's just his willingness and just, he just wants to learn, he just wants to get better. I mean, that right there, that alone, those two are going to be great. I don't have any any doubt, any worries when it comes to those two. I think we drafted two of the best corners in the draft. Uh, hey, Jonathan, I'm Levi Damien from USA Today. Uh, earlier in the in training camps, a couple of people said that it's basically a rookie season for you. Um, and so people think that that's, that that's definitely not the case. For, for you, I know you don't have a lot to compare it to, but in any way, do you still feel like a rookie or just absolutely feel like you've, you, you're going into your second year? No, this is definitely my rookie season. I mean, I did not play nothing but one game. So under, you know, what we consider in the DB room, you have to play a full season in three games after that until you're not considered a rookie. So, I mean, as far as physically, I mean, I'm still considered a rookie, but mentally, I mean, I was never even a rookie. I mean, I was just, I showed up, I was a part of the, the 11 guys, a part of defense out there, just trying to do my job the best ability I can do it. Hey, Jonathan, uh, Heidi Fang here, Las Vegas Review Journal. I was curious about your uniform and its sleeves. It seems like the way that they're tailored, you're kind of paying tribute to Willie Brown and some of the guys that wore that jersey number before you. How much does that serve for motivation for you, and is that something that you did on purpose with the sleeves? Um, yes, it was definitely something I did on purpose. I mean, it was more so for the old school look and also because it helps me be able to move my arms a little bit better, especially coming off of a reconstructive surgery with my shoulder, with reconstructive surgery with my shoulder. Hey, Jonathan, Paul Gutierrez here from ESPN. Um, obviously a small sample size, but when you look, when you're back there safety and you're looking forward and you see the linebackers, how much more athletic, faster, uh, different do the linebackers look to you from your position? Um, 
it looks like day and night, truthfully. I mean, we've gotten faster on every single every single position on offense and defense, but the linebacker core does stick out um, with Nick and um, with both of the Knicks. One of them, the one we had last year, Nick Morrow, he picked up a little weight, but he's still flying around. Um, Nick Kwiatkowski came in and, you know, he's the general. He's calling the defense like he's been in it from, from Honestly, since like he started it with PG, that's how well he knows the system. And then we got Corey Littleton, you know, it's basically like playing with another safety. You know, he rotates off of me and E and Demarius, whoever's in the game. And, you know, he can run and cover the, all the tight ends just as well as we can. So, I mean, it's just a totally different core. It's an entire different unit. The defense looks way faster and way better. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys for having me.